Okei, okay, Shovel Warm, Shovel Warm. Kom jesse alle koloinla. Ja ook als je dan saai wil gaan zetten. Ga aan de daas, dat wordt alles voor af. Ik ben ook de beetje los van die doel wel. Ik ben maar een verkeerd zoals ik die kies. Ik heb gewoon een beetje wat ik heb een paar keer Ik heb daar hier te spelen, kies ik wel wat. Kijk eens wat die mensen hebben wel, als je dan saai. For the best of your ability. Shachana on the walk. This coming is with another quick, quick lesson friend that is edifying by the spirit. Uh, this is in the New York Post. And one of the brothers on um, the GMS, uh, I think it's Amawan Bar, the elder out there, he's done a lesson on this um, a few days back, maybe about a week or so ago. Kind of popped up in my timeline, so I figured I'd be able to touch on it. And this by the spirit for this is edifying. So it says criminals are using AI in terrifying ways, and, it, and it's only going to get worse. And I can agree with that, because it's not going to stop. They're not going to put any regulations on it. They're not telling these tech companies to cut the bullshit. Now you got people out here with deep fakes. They can take, you know, a little portion of your voice. Make it seem as if you're, you know, saying some shit that you're not really saying. So this thing is going real far. And what the brother was bringing out in New York was, and it made all the sense in the world because all they need is like three seconds of your voice. So say me speaking right now, they can take three seconds of my voice and they can just type in what they want to say and make it seem as if I'm saying it. And it's going to pick up and it's going to sound exactly like it's me. So what he was going off into was they could use us going out on the highways and byways, doing these lessons, telling the world that you know what I'm saying, of course. Because, I mean, we're, we're straightforward about what, what, we're, you know, what we're about. You know, we go out on the highways and byways. We let the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know that they are the Hebrew Israelites. You know, that's their biblical nationality. And that Esau Edom is the so-called white man. That's his biblical nationality. And that he's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And that the Lord is going to destroy this place. So they could take, you know, just like I said, three or four seconds. Now, 10 seconds, I think they say. 10 to 15 seconds of your voice, they could pretty much have it down packed perfectly. You see what I'm saying? So let me just grab this quick scripture real quick. Uh, let's go. Let me go into this Bible real fast. Let's go into... Second Corinthians 2 and 11. And it reads, Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of his devices. And that word device, you know, it goes off into like um, shady tactics, man. You know, um, just using this man, I mean, he uses media as 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 a as a as a weapon, you know. He he's gifted with the sword. That was the gift that um, our forefather Isaac blessed him with. That's war. And so he can use anything as a weapon. He, that's how expert he has become. He, he he was, you know, just, you know, using it like, you know, like you can go back to the days of Cain and Abel. You know, Cain kind of basically, he more than likely used a sharp image. I mean, a sharp um, edge of uh, rock or dagger, you know, in a dagger form or something like that. And then as time went on, it got better with the weaponry. And then it could use your woman against you as a weapon. They can use your children against you as a weapon. They can use your best friend against you as a weapon. They can use the media against you as a weapon. This man has created a heart machine where they can use weather as a weapon against you. They can send a thunderstorm to your neighborhood, man. They can, this man can send snow to your neighborhood and fuck up your crops. You know? So he has he's become expert at weaponry. And this AI thing is no different. You know he's going to... And, and, and if it's this good, as far as like regular civilians being able to use it to the the extent that they're being able to use it, you know that he has it now packed, man. It's nothing for them to have um, anybody saying anything. You know, and I, I can remember a few years back, I seen, um, you know, they had some deep fakes of uh, Tom Cruise. They had some deep fakes of uh, uh, Barack Obama. And they can just put your face. They can just have you right there, man. And hey, shh. <laughs> and, and, and have you looking like you're doing a complete world conference, man? <laughs> As if it's you. I seen a, 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 a AI uh, picture today where, was, you know, they was in the hood and it was a guy with a hoodie on, you know what I'm saying? But it was Martin Luther King head on it. And I'm talking about when I say it looked real as shit. Yeah, on a big ass gold chain. Looked like Martin Luther King was in the hood just hanging out on some nigga shit. I was like, God damn. Anyway, though, 
<laughs> hey, but this thing is real. What, what, what? You know, we really just want to just warn the flock, and we know that it's coming to a point where it's going to um, be a famine of the world. They're going to try to shut this thing down um, soon. And they, I mean, it's really just by the will and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. They're not going to be able to shut that down until Yahweh wants it shut down, and He has a time period for that. So there's going to come a famine of the world where we're not going to be able to do videos no more. We're not going to be on the highways and byways no more. Some of us are going to be rounded up. This man is expert at kicking in your door at, you know, 3, 4 in the morning while you and your babies are asleep. So that can happen at any time. And, I, and you know, it's kind of at a point where I tell, <laughs> you know, I heard one of the brothers say that too. But, you know, hey, it's almost um, wise to sleep in something, man. Sleep with, you know, just, hey, you got to have on your PJ pants. You know, because, you know, Jake like to get comfortable. You might just strip down to your boxers, you know what I'm saying, T-shirt and lay down. You know, but, man, it's almost, ex I mean, you know, um, it's probably be wiser to sleep in some, it's summertime right now. You know, you can probably sleep in some, some gym shorts or something like that. But it's, it's you know, it's probably wiser, man, to just sleep in some, um, some sweats or something. Some sweatpants, no T-shirt. Something you can take and get used to, you know, because I like to be cool and, you know, nobody wants to be all hot as shit while they're sleeping. But it's probably best you sleep in some sweatpants, man, with a, uh, you know, with uh, with some socks on already, man. And have some shoes by your bed along with, a, you know, a, a nice shirt or a nice hoodie or something like that. Because if you hear some banging and they're trying to flash bang you or something, like shit, man, at least you can throw something on and they're not dragging you out of the house. You know what I'm saying? Butt ass naked, you know, or if you got to get going, you may get an alert and like, you know, well, shit, man, let me get the hell up, man, and get out my back. We never know. The Lord may give us an opportunity to get the fuck up. <laughs> all, 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 all of us are not going to be martyrs. And we're praying to y'all about shooting y'all a shot. You know, uh, as hopefully let. Let me just get that straight. Because, you know, we want to be a part of the hopefully let. And we say hopeful because we don't know if we're actually going to make it, but we do pray for endurance. We do pray. Thank you, how about Shimei was shot, man, would give us a, a, a you know, a, a pass, so to speak, man, and make it into this kingdom on the first, on the first row. But anyway, let's see if we can get some of this to play. It's a nice article, too. I mean, you can actually, I'm not sure, uh, well, you know, I could share the link if I remember, but let's, you know, but if anything, you can look this up. It's not something that you, you know, you know, you can't look up. And also, I think he's the he was the main AI, AI guy at um, Google or something like that. He ended up quitting, and he started to tell the people, you know what I'm saying. And he he's been doing a few interviews as of late. I might be able to find a little bit of footage on him too. But let's get it. Let's see what this if this will play. If not, I'll read some read into some of it. <laughs> something to do with Bud Light. Now, you know, Bud Light is, you know, catching a lot of heat. They lost a lot of money. I don't think that that shit is going to survive, really, in reality, because, you know, beer companies, they do their thing in the summertime, and mainly around um, the holiday of 4th of July, and it's not looking good for Bud, uh, Bud Light right now, or Budweiser and Isaac Bush, but I'm trying to push that, that wokeism. They try to push that, that Transformer guy on people. But anyway, let's get some of this. I thought it was going to be a little bit more to this. It says artificial intelligence is ultimate is the ultimate double-edged sword. It says it's advancing medical technology at an astonishing rate, 
and improving the quality of life globally, but it's also being used already for nefarious purposes. When we're talking about bad actors, stuff is now available to a lot of people who wouldn't otherwise think of themselves as technically sophisticated. J.S. Nielsen, a cybersecurity expert and a visiting researcher in business et ethnics at Harvard Law School, told the folk, it's happening on a global scale. Lisa Palmer, chief AI strategist for the consulting firm AI Leaders, told the Post, this isn't just something that's happening in the United States. It's a problem. It's a problem in multiple countries. Through AI, individuals' uh, facial data has been used to create pornographic imagery. Imagery. So basically, you know, they can have somebody like, you know, somebody, it, it just anybody that you can think of. You know what I'm saying? They can just put their, you know, just put their face to it. They can have your um, Kim Kardashian or, uh, you know, well, you've already, you know, that's pretty much how she got on. So that's probably not a good, good example. But they can use, you know, someone that's just out here that's on a, on a Disney Channel or, you know, your favorite uh, TV show out here. Your, something that just plays on a sitcom. They can just have them out here just in, you know, all of a sudden, oh, such and such, such and such is doing porn. And, you know, it can destroy that person's life until they find out that, okay, that was an um, AI deep fake or whatever. But they can do this. They can put, the, you know, they've been doing it. This shit is popular. They've been doing it. It says, um, while others have had their voices replicated to trick family and close friends over the phone, often to send money to scam to a scammer. Now, I did see the brother's video on that. And the lady, she was on the news because, you know, somebody had called. And she, somebody... They, they, they took her voice of the daughter and they produced a phone call and shot it to her mom. Like, And she's like, Mom, I made a mistake. Mom, such and such, such and such. But it, they just typed out what they want to say and they used her voice, man, to do it. And her mom was all shook and scared as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they were they was trying to get a million dollars and there's a lot of um, people that's done fell for this shit. Okay, it says... Um, Read on to learn more about frightening ways AI is being used to exploit and steal from people. And how it's likely only to get worse. And it's going to get worse. Because see, remember this picture? And hey, this picture looked real as hell, man. It looked like they really arresting Trump. <laughs> popular photo apps on where po popular photo apps where users submit snaps of themselves and have AI render them into sci-fi character or piece of renaissance art have a very dark side. When Melissa Hakali of the MIT Tech Technology Review tested the, the hit app, Lensa AI has generated tons of news and overtly sexualized images without her consent, she wrote at the end of 2022. Some of those apps in their terms of service, they make it very clear that you are sharing your face to their data storage, said Palmer, who gave a keynote Wednesday um, Keynote Wednesday on AI's potential benefits and downsides to the society of information management. And in the wrong hands, the theft of the person's biometric facial data could be catastrophic. She continued, that's a terrible case scenario where somebody could potentially breach a military or government facility as a result of having someone's biometric data. Easily made deep fake and gener generative AI content like false images of Donald Trump's arrest are also emerging. Palmer is exceptionally concerned this will be a problem come the next election cycle. See? Particularly, she fears unethical, unethical but not illegal uses that some politicians might see as just smart marketing. See? Nielsen, who preaches how dangerous it is to have AI just make stuff up also fears that easy access to generative AI could lead to fake news and, and mass panics, such as a computer-generated extreme weather event being widely shared on social media, she said, is going to keep going way off the rails. We are just starting to see this all happen. See? And there's more to the story. I don't want to keep it long. And now this, 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 this chat GPT thing, the brother just, um, um, the elder of uh, GMS Dallas, uh, El uh, Ashwamba, Elder Ashwamba, pronouncing his name right, Slakia, he just done a lesson on um, 
the um, PETA, if you're familiar with the, the PETA, uh, you know, the uh, those so-called white people that care so much about animals that they've, they've, they've um, done a, a redo of the Bible, you know, talking about, you know, trying to basically, basically say that, you know, they've changed the words so where animals are not beasts and, you know, basically for their agenda as far as like not harming animals, not eating meat, not, you know, wearing animal clothing and this, that, and the third. But they, they, I mean, all they have to do is just say, hey, look, this is what we believe in. Why they got to touch the Bible? But that's the world we're living in. And, and, and he brought a beautiful scripture. Um, that scripture where, uh, roughly paraphrasing, Lord, it's time to get up and work. Lord, we need you. It's time to get up and work, Lord. It's time. But anyway, let me just, um, pull this. This is the scripture, uh, once to the blue letter. I had pulled, um, the Psalms 140 and verse 8. And, um, you know, went off into cross references, which are some beautiful precepts. But let's just get this real quick. Psalms 140 and 8. Grant not, O Yahweh, the desires of the wicked, further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. They lie. I think the brother, um, the elder in uh, Baltimore, has a Hebrew prayer for this. I think I wrote it down. It's one that I pray every day, too. Uh, similar to this, I'm thinking. It's similar to this, but it's, you know, it's in the Hebrew tongue, so. It's a beautiful prayer, too, you know, to, to, to say it in the Hebrew tongue. But basically, this is entitled Grant Not. So these scriptures go along with Grant Not. So I'm going to pull a few. It's like uh, four of them. Psalms 27 and 12. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. And the reason why I wanted to pull these particular scriptures is because, like the brother, um, the elder in um, New York brought out, he said that, hey, they could take our voice and use it, and, and, and hey, it sounds just like us, but we didn't say it. So we have these types of things, you know, because you know that the, 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 this, this man is, is just wicked as hell, man. And we're not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of the fact that he will pull something like this. He'll do something like that. And we really believe that he, he's going to. Because he's going to deceive the world. I mean, he's already deceiving the world. But he wants to, you know, get us off the streets and, and stop us from, um, you know, doing this work, man. You know? And it is what it is. It's just a part of the will of the Yahweh Shemel Shah. You know? It just is what it is, man. It's something to, that we have to accept. But, you know, we, we can pray, though, about these things. Psalms 94, 20 and 21, it says, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which, which frameth mischief by law? And that's what they do. They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. See? That's what they do. This is what you saw Edom is known for doing. He's the accuser of the brethren, man. Uh, this is 2 Samuel 15 and 31. Let me see what this one is. It says, And one told David, saying, Ahithophel is among the conspirators with Absalom. And David said, O Yahweh, I pray thee, turn the counsel of Ahithophel into foolishness. And that's what we can pray too. We can pray that this man's so-called wisdom or this man's counsel, who's ever counseling, and, and, and it's happening, you know, anyway. But we can pray that. Pray that this man's counsel, the wicked, the so-called white man, the elite, that their counsel is brought to naught, and that it turns on their own head. Job 5 and 12 and 13, it says, He disappointed the, the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. That's the one that I got in the Hebrew tongue. I don't have it on me right now. I, I'm still, I still have to remember it verbatim. Verse 13, He taketh the wives in their own crafting, and the counsel of the froward is carried headlong. That's a beautiful prayer right there, man. You know, something to, um, to pray for. He disappointed, you know, because we can pray that. Lord, disappoint the, the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Take the wise in their own craftiness and the, the counsel of the froward um, and make it carry head along. Get all about your nose shot. Let's see what this Deuteronomy 32 and 27. Were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy? lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say, our hand is high, and the Lord have not done all this. Okay, well, hey, yeah, hey, well, because the Lord is in control of all things. He's in control of what's going on out here in the universe, man. The good and the evil, man. The Lord is, 
Yeah, he's he's dealing with these these um, leaders, according to Proverbs twenty twenty one and one. The king's hearts are in the hands of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Roughly paraphrasing, he turning them whithersoever he will. That it's like rivers of water. I think roughly paraphrasing. He can turn the hearts of any man into whatever he wants them to do. And these people, that's with this AI stuff, that's really all that's happening. But the Lord is in control of all things, man. But again, you know, we, we pray. And we're just praying for the downfall of our enemies. And we're actually seeing it happen. Because not only is this going to, you know, could be used against us, it's going to be used against Esau Edom as well. Because they don't care nothing about their own people. You know? So I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot sec. I pray this the lesson was edifying. That one more show.